Good evening, I'm Lee Zurich. And I'm Kim Holden. The head of a local retirement system says our Fox 8 investigation is way off base. He sent a memo to his board members today defending his spending uncovered by Fox 8 News in our investigation called Swiped. Bob Rust is not a lawyer, but his interpretation of the law is different than Loyola Law Professor Dane Cialino or even the state attorney general. Both say buying alcohol with public funds is illegal. There is no ambiguity about that. Uh, if funds are public funds, they can't be used for alcohol. Still, Rust told his board members in a letter, yes, alcohol was an optional beverage, which is permissible at a conference. Nothing in the law says alcohol is permitted at any conference, as Rust alleges. The main point of Rust's letter is to tell members no retirement funds or taxpayer dollars were used for any of the questionable expenses we highlighted. The Municipal Employees Retirement System, or MERS, has two checking accounts, one funded by members and taxpayers, its operating account, the other an educational fund account that is funded by investment companies who act as sponsors for the yearly education conference. Legal experts say that educational fund filled with self-generated dollars is also public money. Whether those funds are generated through taxes, whether they're generated through fees, whether they're generated uh, through uh, other self-generation efforts, they at the end of the day are going to wind up in the hands of that public body and, and be public funds. But Russ's letter indicates because money was self-generated, spending on alcohol and some trips was okay. Each summer, MERS holds an educational conference for its board members. A few months before that conference, Russ takes a yearly educational conference planning trip, often over holiday weekends. Russ said he takes those planning trips over holiday weekends because I went when my work and personal calendar would allow. Rust added to not go on site and plan this event each year would be like planning a wedding over the phone or online. One member of Rust's board, State Representative Kevin Pearson, says that's a stretch. I, I don't know if that's something you need to go visit so much to plan. Rust wrote the planning trips were to reserve space among the various venues. Certainly over the phone, you certainly know the venue, certainly if you've been there. So, I mean, do you really need to plan it over Easter weekend, too? I know. I doesn't look good. Russ defended a Sandestin trip he took in 2011. He wrote it was for conference planning, but was more than 100 miles away from where MERS holds its conference. Rust wrote, we were exploring other venues to determine if there was a better location for our conference. Russ spent more than $2,000 to explore that potential future conference site. Rust wrote the Educational Conference Fund paid for most of the planning trip expenses. Any amounts paid by the system were minimal, not material. But that's not true. For example, Rust charged $1,200 for San Destin reservations. Again, not paid out of the educational account. Still, Rust calls that a minimal charge. Rust also told board members a charge of the Palace Cafe was paid with sponsorship money out of the educational fund. But this clearly shows $1,000 at the Palace Cafe was paid for out of the general operating account. Documents show what Rust alleges in the letter to his members is wrong. Rust didn't address some questions we raised in his letter. Board members brought guests to that yearly educational conference. Rust brought his wife and son. Even the State Division of Administration appointment, Marsha Guidry, brought her husband. Rust also didn't mention the lavish gift baskets each board member received. One conference attendee took these pictures of last year's gift basket that included 15 items, a duffel bag, monogram shirt cap and luggage tag, a bottle of wine, smoked provolone, a laundry bag, and a cutting board shaped like Louisiana, all paid for with public funds. Rust also told his members WVUE declined our offer and aired their report without any input or clarification from MRSLA. That is also not true. Rust declined our repeated requests for an on-camera interview. MERS also made no one else available. We did include Rust's major points, though, from a letter he sent us a week prior to our initial report. You can see Russ's entire response and catch up with our entire swiped investigation on our website, fox8live.com, and our free news app. And coming up tomorrow night at 10, we hear from a local elected official who wants Russ to resign. And new details that show Russ purchased bottles of wine while he was supposed to be working. An all-new swipe tomorrow night on Fox 8 News at 10.